Today is Isaac's first day of second grade. We gotta hurry up though, because we need extra time today to find the classroom. He's getting ready in the bathroom. Papi's doing his hair. He got a haircut yesterday. He has his fresh outfit on. First day of school was always so exciting and so fun also because you got to wear your best outfits. Everything was just so exciting. Say hello to your friends, babysitters, club. All right, let's do this. Mm-hmm. That's what I need today. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute cup. This one it says, "All right, let's do this." So I'm gonna pour my coffee in here. Oh, it almost fits like the same amount. And then you put the lid on. And you just slide it closed. <gasps> Love it. You ready, my son? Look at my guy, come here. Look at how tall you are. Second grade and he's right here. I have no shoes. Second grade, babe. And then by the end of second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. And then it's gonna be like, what's going on? Huh? <laughs> I'll still play Fortnite. You're still gonna play Fortnite? Yeah. No, you're not. That's popular. There's gonna be a new game. No, no. How do you know? Because there's always new things that kids are into. How uh, about you guys are into Gamikas, babe? Marbles. Marbles? Yeah. How come you guys don't play with marbles? Marbles? Marbles or pugs. What are pugs? pugs. Remember the pugs? The flammers? Yeah. Pogs? Oh, pogs. I said pugs. More pugs. They're like little, they were little circles made out of cardboard and you collect a lot of them and then you hit like a really hard coin on top of them and then you try to collect them like whatever faces up. I forgot. Oh yeah, I know it. Right. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited like if it was my first day of school. So today is my birthday, August 20th, 1987 is when I popped out. I know, I'm sweating right now so much, but I just wanna say to all of my subscribers, everybody that follows me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, our Facebook group that have been sending me messages, I appreciate every single one of you out there in the world. So thank you, and guess what I'm gonna do right now? I'm glowing. I'm glowing because I'm on my way to do a little photo shoot, a birthday photo shoot. Jesse's gonna take some pictures of me. We have the big three one. Uh, my friend Lisa also got me some balloons. So I'm gonna do a different outfit, but in the house, like with the cake and the flowers that people have been sending me. Thank you, Pixie Beauty. Thank you, Benefit Cosmetics. Thank you guys so much for the beautiful flower arrangements to my girl, Layla. Everybody just, I can just go on and on and just give shout outs. I love you guys. So that's what I'm doing. Jesse's pumping gas out there. You guys see him? Which, by the way, some people are like, he needs to cut his beard off, shave it off. I don't think so. I love it, and he loves it. So we are at my birthday location. It looks like I'm about to reveal that I'm going to have a daughter with the pink and purple balloons. But those are my favorite colors. And that's the man behind the lens. Ooh, look. Takes all my bomb. Oh, that's cute. Well, not my face, but... Okay, so we have this beautiful fountain as our backdrop. What do you guys think? One of these popped in the car on the way home today. It Bro. did. Perfect location for my birthday shoe. I got my dress. <coughs> I love this dress. Lavender is one of my favorite colors. It's very spiritual. And I feel like it's perfect for 31.
So the balloons are my favorite. Thank you. Did you like them? Yeah. I love them. This is my favorite, honestly. I cut my hair yesterday. It was a pretty big deal to me because I had been growing this baby out for the past two years. And it was like way down here. So I asked you guys, I'm like, should I cut my hair? What should I do? I hadn't done anything to it. And a lot of people said, don't cut it. And some of you guys said yes. But I think the fact that a lot of people told me not to cut it made me want to cut it. So I'm like, why did I even ask? So I originally actually wanted to go a little shorter, but I'm like, okay, let's just start off here. In six weeks, I'll see if I want to go shorter or, or what, right? So I'm really happy that I did it because there's so many new changes that are happening in my personal life, in my career, and I feel like I just needed a new look to go with the way that i feel you know what i mean like a whole new a whole new look plus i also had just turned 31 a few weeks ago and it's just like a whole new chapter in my life and i feel like cutting up your hair is liberating and it also you know did push me outside of my comfort zone because it's you know you grow your hair all the way down here and then you cut it all the way up here so it was a pretty big deal but i've been making a lot more time to do the things that make me happy and reading is definitely one of them um i bought this cool little kit um brush and detail dual tip markers from target just today crayola brand i also got prisma color premiere hand lettering like a whole set 13 piece collection of markers fine tip pens and pencils and different kind of things for lettering so and i also got this book called calligraphy made easy so it's a workbook so you can learn calligraphy which i think it's amazing to do things like this is something that i want to do and learn and i think it's important to make time to do things that you normally would not be doing because you're so busy working it's like really you need to be happy you need to make time for things like this too i'm gonna learn calligraphy right now these are so pretty yay we'll see how this goes good morning today's been a great day so far it's seven in the morning i've been up for about an two hours actually i got out of bed at six in the morning though and the heck is this on i am ironing the shirt that i'm gonna wear today because i am actually gonna go in for a parent meeting um because i want to be more involved in isaac's class and just helping out with uh with anything that needs Anything the teacher needs help with, I want to be more um, open to doing that this year. That's something that I really want to do. Last year, I was a little bit involved more towards the end of the year. Um, I get really busy with work, but I have been thinking so much about like, my little boy is only going to be in school for a little bit of time. Well, yeah, he's only going to be seven once, right? And... He makes he gets really happy when I'm in class with him like last year when I was helping out with the um, end of the year activities he was really happy about that I'm actually gonna wear this shirt it's actually a PJ shirt but it's super cute so I'm gonna wear it out I was gonna wear this shirt that looks a little bit dressier it has like a V cut but I am not gonna wear this anymore 
I bought this one that I'm wearing today at Target yesterday with some matching sweatpants and I also bought it in green. So yeah, so I've been up since 6 in the morning um, because yesterday I didn't really have like the best um, mental day and I wanted to make some changes so I am staying off the internet. Um, I'm usually addicted to my iPad and I have it with me everywhere but I realized that it's not really a, um, a positive thing it's a distraction it's a major distraction and i'm doing my makeup like for any little thing that i'm doing i'm doing my makeup i'm getting dressed i'm going downstairs i'm going upstairs i have my freaking ipad on listening to nonsense you know what i mean so it's distracting when you have like just listening to constant people talking on youtube videos or Whatever it is that I'm watching, usually it's like Big, Big Boy's Neighborhood or The Breakfast Club. And it just makes no sense for me to be listening to all this nonsense at the same time, trying to go about my day and trying to focus. And the most important thing that I need right now is focus. So I think that's been stressing me out a lot. And this morning I was like, when I was doing my makeup, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to put on my iPad. I need to like be listening to something while I do my makeup but i fought it and i put a little notepad like a sticky um a post-it on my mirror and it said no ipad because it's a negative distraction so i'm not gonna use my ipad today and see how that affects me as far as my feelings and so yeah i've been just thinking a lot waking up really early having a hard time really sleeping or you know really feeling peaceful so um i woke up today i did some meditation I actually did a 10 minute meditation and then I did five minutes of active stretching and just kind of like waking up my body instead of rolling out of bed and just quickly saying thank you for the day and then going about my day. Oh, and today, today let me just tell you guys, today is also an exciting day because we're meeting up with our social worker and also the social worker of the little boy that we potentially might adopt. There's so much to think about. Um, he's five years old and that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but today we're actually going to see a picture of him because we don't know how he looks yet and we're gonna hear a little bit more details about his life from his own personal social worker. I don't know if this little boy's meant to be ours. I really, I don't know. I don't wanna get my hopes up, but no, I really don't have my hopes up. If that makes any sense. Like I feel like I'm I haven't been I haven't attached myself yet. Because that's like one of the main things that they tell you throughout this whole process is do not attach yourself to children like this. Like don't be thinking that this is going to happen because something always changes even when you think like you're right at the finish line of adopting a child. A lot of things change like a mom will come into the picture or a grandma or whatever, but yeah, and for other reasons, obviously, I can't really talk about it, and I wouldn't want to talk about his private life. Of course, I would never want to do that, um, but just kind of wanted to give you guys a little update as to what I've been doing, and just, you know what? I'm trying to do things that make me happy because life is too short. Life is way too short. Something that's going to make me happy, and that is actually, I'm going to look back in when I'm older and be like, okay, I'm happy that I went out and I helped out with my son's school because that is important. He's only gonna be a little boy once in his lifetime and I always wanted my mom to go into school and help out but she couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, instead of pumping out YouTube videos, that's what I'd rather be doing, to be honest with you guys. The chomper, the chompiness. Right? Yeah, yeah. Love you. No, I got makeup on you, I'm sorry. Okay, so she's gonna be roaming the streets I'm actually going out for a run. Actually, I really haven't been gone. I still have been posting a lot of videos, but not really, if that makes any sense. Okay, I just feel like when I take some time off, it's um, some time off. So I'm actually getting ready to go on a little run today because, can I just keep it 100? Can I just keep it real? Okay, so. I have been dealing with um, some anxiety, to be honest with you. That's exactly what it is. And it hasn't been making me feel good at all. So I have been changing habits because I, I tend to, like I'm very uh, conscious about the things that I do that develop into the way that I feel. 
and somehow I always fall back into a routine that is not necessar necessarily the healthiest. And that took me to a negative place for a few days, which is normal, okay? Well, it's okay if it happens. Just know that there is hope. I look like my mom rocking this hat. I never wear hats in my life because I think I look so weird with hats, but the sun is full beast mode right now and it's savage. Just kidding, I'm over here. I just said savage and beast mode in one sentence and that's not, that's not good. That's not good. Putting my shoes on. I just got some new shoes from Nike today because I am going to New York um when am i leaving i'm leaving on tuesday for new york fashion week this is the first time in a really long time that i'm going for new york fashion week i'm actually going to walk a runway show guys i'm gonna be walking a runway which is pretty amazing some incredible women are also going to be walking the runway and it's gonna be barefaced um, I'm actually doing a really amazing campaign with Olay and as part of the campaign I'm gonna be walking the runway show and then whoo they made me like a cloak like the Harry Potter cloak like they're making me one for real and it's gonna be like this other kind of like technology that they're using like projecting i'm not too sure that's what they told me um, but that's happening during fashion week which is pretty exciting because i haven't been there in a long time and what else what else am i doing uh, so that's going to be this week coming up and if i have a trip coming up guys i have to be in the best mental mind that i can possibly be because i need to leave my family for a few days i need to make that sacrifice of leaving my family to go handle my business for this week and i really need to be in a good mental state so with that being said i bought these shoes let me just show you in case you're wondering i got these brand new nikes these are called yes i got nikes to support colin kaepernick okay these are the women's nike air max thea if you guys are interested so i think they're pretty cool i'm gonna rock these today and what else? Oh my god, I think I'm gonna take a picture of this actually before I do anything. They look pretty cool, right? I'm gonna work out this butt, do some squats, do some squats. You gotta get low. I actually like to use about 40 pounds. That's what I'm gonna do today 40 pounds up here, and then you gotta go low all the way back here. All the way back. Oh my gosh, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna take a picture because I wanna show my support for Colin, okay? You're like, yes, these are fresh. Fresh. Fresh to death. Air Max Thea, if you guys are interested in these shoes. So I got these to travel. Uh, we'll see how, how these work out. So yeah, I got them for my outfits. Airport travel, I wanted to have comfortable black shoes. I had a pair of other black Nikes, but I've had them for a year and I already worn them out a lot. So this is a nice, new, fresh, clean pair of black sneakers. I'm gonna put some music, I'm gonna go jogging, I'm gonna get my endorphins running through the system because they make you happy. What is that one quote, uh, quote from Legally Blonde? Endorphins make you happy. Happy people don't kill their husbands. So work out, in other words. Okay. So I think this coffee was an excellent idea today because I am pumped up to the fullest. And I've been up since really early in the morning. I'm gonna get my workout in. Oh my gosh, I've been drinking grapefruit juice, which is so amazing for the body. Freshly squeezed grapefruit juice in the morning. Whoa. Once you get that in your system, that's gonna give you so much power juice. And also if you drink coffee, it cleans out all the acidic acids in your body, like coffee. So if you are a coffee drinker, the grapefruit juice is really gonna help clean that out. Antioxidant, it's just incredible all the way around, guys. And I haven't been going to berries, but I do work out here in my house. And I'm gonna go for a run maybe do just one mile just to kind of get, you know, the cardio going, the heartbeat going, the endorphins released. I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna do some booty today and some abs. 
stopped working out and I noticed how good I used to feel when I used to work out and when I don't, I feel like I just have a harder time dealing with anxiety. You know, I actually don't have a lot of anxiety when, when I work out. I feel more ready and more excited about challenges and I definitely, it definitely gave me more self-confidence and not just because of the way that it changes your body, but like mentally, like confidence is all in your mind. It's not about the way that you look. Confidence really comes from working from the inside out. Cause you can have like a lot of, a lot of women, a lot of young girls, you guys are so beautiful and you always think that you're so ugly. You're always complaining and looking in the mirror and saying, I'm so ugly. Why do I have to be so ugly? But you really are so beautiful. You just don't see it for yourself. That's why self-confidence is something that we have to learn to develop. Confidence is something that is attainable for anybody. Um, even when you feel like you can't and you just wish and wish that you were more confident, that you loved yourself more, that you felt that you had a higher self-esteem. Even when you feel like you just, it's not possible for you, I am here to tell you from firsthand experience that it is 100% attainable. And it all starts by just working on yourself every day to be a better you. And one day I'm telling you, you are gonna wake up and you're gonna be like, whoa, I'm actually, pretty confident like i actually love the way that i look i love myself i accept myself for who i am i am confident to take on this new challenge to tackle my dreams i'm excited to do this to start new adventures to believe in myself to do something that i've been wanting to do to speak in front of people to be seen to not be so self-conscious all of those things change and you won't see that overnight but one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna feel it you're going to experience something and normally if you usually tend to fall back and be more reserved or self-conscious, you're gonna notice how you're like more confident. And I've seen that change in myself, that's why I'm telling you guys because in my 20s, I hated everything about me my whole life actually since I was a little girl. I've always thought that I was so ugly, blah, blah, blah. I don't wanna, you know, it's not a sad story because I am not a victim of anything. I'm just telling you that that's how I used to feel and I always wished there was a pill that I could just take and be confident and something happened like 29, 30 is something just clicked and I was like, whoa. And that's, I remember that's when I started working out. So it started to, it just, it really helps you so much when you just feel healthy from the inside and you take time to take care of yourself. If you're not happy, figure out what's not making you happy. If people are not making you happy, distance yourself from those people. Stop doing the things that make you unhappy and start living your life. You deserve, everybody deserves to live a happy life. We only have one, so why are we going to be not feeling happy? Why are we going to hate our life? We're not supposed to hate our life, we're supposed to love it. Stay blessed, till next time.